A murder in Surrey, British Columbia, has sparked a diplomatic crisis between Canada and India. This fifth estate documentary investigating the death of Hardeep Singh Nijar is blocked on YouTube in India. Part of a pattern, says one of the documentary's subjects. To us, it just shows the, uh, the lengths that India is willing to go in order to kind of silence that dissent. The investigation revealed exclusive CCTV video of the moment Nijar was gunned down outside his Gurdwara in Surrey. Nijar was an activist pushing for an independent Sikh state. The Indian government says he was a terrorist. The killing of a Canadian citizen. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accused the Indian government of being involved in his death, an accusation India denies. No charges have been laid. Now, a video of Hardeep Singh Nijar's killing in Canada has surfaced. The video, it has been obtained by the fifth state. And the documentary made headlines in India. A spokesperson for CBC says the broadcaster stands by its journalism. YouTube tells CBC News the video was blocked under Section 69A of India's Information and Technology Act. It says action can be taken in the interest of the integrity, defense or security of India. Last year, the Indian government took similar action over a BBC documentary. It examined the Indian Prime Minister's role in anti-Muslim violence two decades ago. The Indian government has gotten pretty aggressive in um, taking advantage of its own laws to pressure social media companies to take down content it doesn't like, to target actual specific users and even have accounts blocked. Activists tell me, Ian, that this isn't just happening with journalism produced outside of India. In fact, one radio broadcaster here in Vancouver who broadcasts in Punjabi told me that he is worried about dissidents inside of India being silenced. All of this happening ahead of elections in India starting next month. And so, Lindsay, what is the Indian government saying about the video? Well, well, we reached out to the consulate here in Canada as well, to the government in India, and we haven't heard back. Lindsay Duncombe in our Vancouver newsroom.